Hi, I'm Justin Morgan, Senior Product Engineer with Direct Supply. Begin by making sure the bed is empty and unplugged and that you have plenty of space to work. You'll then want to identify which actuator you need to replace. One of the two high-low actuators, the head deck actuator, or the knee deck actuator. The high-low actuators require the bed to be tilted on its side. You'll need two people to tilt the bed. The head deck and knee deck actuators can be replaced while the bed is in an upright and raised position. To begin the replacement, start by disconnecting the control cable with the quick disconnect points located near the actuator. Remove both clevis pins, first by disconnecting the retaining clip and then sliding the clevis pin out completely. Now you can set the old actuator aside and put the new one in its place. Make sure the replacement is positioned in the same way as the one you removed. You'll then reconnect the actuator using the pin assemblies, starting with the clevis pin and then the retaining clip. Once you have the pins in place, reconnect the control cable. Using the hand pendant, check to make sure all functions are working correctly. Next, zero the control box and actuators by holding the elevation down button on your hand pendant until the bed is completely lowered. Continue to hold the down button for five seconds once the bed is fully lowered. When you're done, be sure to dispose of the old actuator in accordance with local recycling laws or return it to direct supply if you've been asked to do so. If you have any questions about this process, please contact your account manager.